the lions are up in, to the left of that uh, ravine there, or cut, and they all cross the road right up in there. We have, uh, we rode up to look for tracks and we cut a, two fresh tracks on the way back that went across our snowmobile track trails. So Jim seems to think that within 15 minutes time we ought to be able to catch those two lions. dogs up and we got three different tracks we're gonna split the dogs up so we don't want to have them all loose uh, and that way we can set like two dogs on each track sugar get to him this is where we cut the first track lion went across the trail here right back up there is where he do it Marco came down right there. See him over there, Jim? I can't see him. He's gone under the trail. He's on the trail. If you listen close, you'll hear him howling. We're going to go up and turn the dogs on them other tracks, the real fresh ones. See if we can't get them off. We're setting them on a fresh track. Probably. Get to much older than a half hour. Okay, let's go up and turn these dogs on that other track. Come here. Get to them, girl. Get both of them together, probably. That other one will come right through here. How long do you think it'll be and they'll have it caught? Oh, 15 minutes, half an hour. We'll just uh, follow up the trail, won't we, and keep a listening? Yeah, we'll go around as far as we can with a snowmobile and see if we can hear the dogs. And we'll get as close as we can that way and then we'll go on in and when they get them treed and see what they got caught. They got a different type of bark and you know right when they're treed, huh? Yeah, yeah, they'll go to chopping when they're treed. Well, you can hear them now, they're baying more long open balls to them. And then when they start chopping, they'll be treed and there'll be a lot more frenzied bark. But, We'll see how close we can get with snow machine first. That's a, They'll have them caught before too long. That's a pretty good track there. Like, looks like a real good tom from the track. So should be a good cat. Okay. That's where the dogs come over, over the ridge. Just around the corner down there to the left, they got the lion treed. We ain't been there yet. We're working our way over there. <laughs> yeah, they came from way over. Well, they must have been out, what, three miles already? Yeah. Well, it took... <clears throat> Quarter to eight, probably took about an hour to catch him from the time we let the dogs loose. He was a running lion. He went a lot further than he should have. But like you say, he came around the other side hill there. And as you can see from the pictures here, some of this country where you catch a lion is awful steep and hard to get in. And all you can do is take your time to avoid getting hurt. Yeah, you want But it sounds like they've got him treed up in the head of this little box canyon here. So I think we're getting down into the short rows of it. Do you think we should go a little further and try and get in on the tree? Yeah, let's go film him. Did you catch that? What did you do, jump up on the tree? Or the jump up on the tree?
them out of there quick. I don't know where they went. I see him. He's up a tree, I see him. Already? Yeah. He went down into the bottom, then he went up a tree. He went, oh, probably 150 yards. That's a good cat. There you go. Seven and a half, eight foot. Get to him, 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 get to him